Huntsville's Dog Ball is back for its 34th year. It is the largest annual fundraiser for the Greater Huntsville Humane Society. And joining us to tell us more about the Dog Ball is Public Relations Chair Amy Mayfield. So Amy, first of all, when and where is this taking place next month? February 4th at the Von Braun Center South Hall. And let's talk about what people can expect if they've never been to a dog ball before. So uh, the dog ball is basically a celebration of all things furry friends. It's a great night to come out and support the Greater Huntsville Humane Society. We have dinner, we have a silent and live auction, and then of course we have the presentation of the very important dogs. And we also have meet and greets, so you can go in the back and you know say hello and pet to your heart's content. Oh, and this year's theme is all about puppy love. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about well, that. Well, we typically hold the dog ball in February so we really just decided to kind of zoom in on that you know it's close to Valentine's Day everybody loves puppies everybody loves dogs we love our cats too but you know this evening is all about the dogs and, and tell us about those VIDs. So VIDs are very important dogs and they are the dogs that are presented at the dog ball. I always say it's a little bit like a doggy debutante ball. Um, and we have about 50 of them and it is a mix. You will see everything from, you know, mutts to purebreds to, we have a couple service dogs. We have a couple therapy dogs from Heart to Heart Pet Partners. And it's just, you know, we just celebrate those dogs and the love will have some dogs from the shelter that are featured too. Oh, wonderful. So those dogs are adoptable. They are adoptable. Like you can't walk out the door with them that right. night, but they, <laughs> we will feature, wow. I think we're featuring five shelter dogs this year. Wow. That's wonderful. And this is a huge fundraiser for the Humane society so tell us a little bit more about what those funds go towards and why it's important to support so it is the largest annual fundraiser for the humane society and the humane society in 2022 they saved over two seven hundred I don't want to mess up my numbers there over 700 animals and they also have wonderful programs like King's Community Kitchen which offers food to low-income families to help keep their animals in their home which I think is just a wonderful wonderful program and the humane society is also working on the first First cat sanctuary in Alabama for cats that have um, the di some different you know issues that keep them from being with other animals. Wow. And what made you want to get involved with the dog ball? I have always had a soft spot for animals and then in 2020 my English Mastiff Hector was a VID and just seeing the event in person and seeing all the good they do and knowing just how widespread the work of the Humane Society is in the community. You know they often take cases that other people can't. They help with hoarding situations. They really focus on finding good homes, getting animals healthy. King's Community Kitchen, I think is just an amazing, amazing program. And so, you know, seeing it in person, I really just wanted to get involved and help any way I could. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And it is coming up. So anyone who would like more information, go ahead and take a look at your screen now. Uh, it will be happening February 4th from 5.45 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. at the Von Braun Center's South Hall. That is 700 Monroe Street.